uh, the season overall. Um, I wouldn't say uh, that it's been a disappointing season. Um, I know um, supporters are always sort of full of expectation, etc. But I think generally it's um, it's been more or less what I expected. You know, I didn't think we'd uh, sort of pull up any trees, etc. Um, I was hoping that Alan Irvine would would, would do better because I've got a lot of admiration for him. He's a first class coach because I've, I've I've sort of spent time with Alan. Um, it didn't quite work out because he didn't get the results. But I think if you speak to any of the players, that they will say, you know, what, what a good coach he was, etc. But obviously, um, for the people who were available at the time when, when Alan left the club, I mean, Tony Pilly says, you know, he, he's proved to be the best man for the job. Yeah. So um, I'm, um, I'm, I'm right behind him. <laughs> yeah. um, there's been a lot of disappointments, but on the positive side, I think if the chairman said at the beginning of the season that he, he would put it right, and if you consider 13th, and a, a reasonable cup run, then that's an improvement on last year. So I think it's probably a good starting point for the yeah. future. I think it's been a very difficult season yet again. Uh, last or two summers ago, obviously, didn't it was very unfruitful, should we say? Um, hopefully, last summer was going to improve on that. But yet again, uh, we, we've finished up with a, a poor squad overall. Uh, and I think now certainly something has got to be done to, to move the club forward. I think it's been a bit of a mixed bag. We started off bad, as we all thought we would with the manager we had, because um, he didn't have any track record and, you know, most of the fans thought it'd be a disaster and it turned out to be going that way. And then um, I think we ended up with a manager who's probably the best option for getting us out of trouble, uh, given his track record for never having been relegated. But I think the players really are good enough not to be in the position they're in. I think it just depends how you motivate them. And I don't think the other guy did motivate them. I think they all liked him. But I manage a department and if people all like me, I'm not doing my job properly. So if you get the feedback, the players like him too much, then you can bet your life is a nice, easy line. Well, hopefully um, the chairman would... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that he'll allow Tony to, uh, to bring in... Uh, two top class top signings. Um, I know it's difficult because we're, we're sort of possibly classed now as a sort of bottom third club as far as the, the Premiership are concerned rather than even being a, a, a middle middle range club. Uh, but I, I would hope that he would, uh, he would certainly get a, a top class full back in and uh, also a top class striker because um, it would seem that certainly better he now will, will, will probably leave in the summer. So I think he'll be looking for two top-class signings rather than sort of five or six mediocre signings. Well, I think I think we need to get the manager we got at the present. I think if he can if he can have a good summer and get some players in uh, that, that he wants, and uh, and what's more difficult, of course, is get people out that he doesn't want. Yeah. If, if if he can make that happen, then I think you know things will improve it again. Yeah, he's the man. I've, I've heard a few grumbles about, about the start of play. Uh, Are you okay with it? Uh, yeah, I think he's. I think he's marmite. I think he 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 he, he is what he is. I, he's not everyone's cup of tea, but his track record at a club of uh, sizes of the Albion is is phenomenal, really. And I think uh, he, he he could well be a good fit. James made it clear that he's um, he, he, he would he would accept off or listen to offers for the club. Are you happy with that, or is it or is it is it better the devil you know? Um, well, in life, everything's for sale, isn't it? I mean, it, it, um, the thing about Jeremy is uh, he says he will only sell it to somebody that's got the best interests of the club at heart. Uh, that's all well and good, but how, how would he know that? Mm. Uh, so I think there is an element of truth in what you say. It's better the devil you know. Yeah. So overall, you're pleased with, 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 with what Jeremy's done for the club? Y yeah. I mean, overall, over the last... 10, 11 years he's been here, he's been, he, he's, he's rejuvenated the place and it, we're almost sort of, I, I never ever thought we'd ever see the Premier League, Premiership but we've, we've, he's turned us into the club that we all want to be really. Well I, I think we've got the proper manager now as long as he doesn't do a runner and fall out like he did at Crystal Palace which is always a fear with um, Tony because he, he doesn't need the job, he's got the money, he lives in a very good place down on the south coast. So he can afford to be asked for things and if he doesn't get them he can walk away. Um, 
But I think as we've been established now for getting on for six, seven, eight, nine years in the Prem, I think we'd get another good manager at close season, as long as we didn't try and stick to our old system of having to have scouts. And I think we've gone back to an old manager system now, although they call him chief coach. I still think he's more of a manager than Irving was, so um, time will tell. But I'm optimistic. I mean, I've supported them for years and they've always been inconsistent. We always beat the teams we shouldn't beat and lose to the ones we should. Yeah. Um, and that classic was last last two home games. And it was no more than we expected. I thought the Astor day would be the thing that would overwhelm the players. They'd be more concentrated on the Astor day than the three points. And I think it turned out that way really. Are they safe? Um, yeah, I should think so, yeah, all barring, um, there's going to have to be a, a, a hell of a lot of bad things happen for us to go down from this position, I think. I think yeah, on the basis that um, the other teams have got to play themselves, so some of them have got to drop points anyway, <laughs> yeah. and I can't see them getting to 36 points. Um, Leicester have been on a good run at the moment, but once they lose one, they might carry on losing and... QPR, I don't think we've got a chance in hell of winning away apart from yeah. at the Hawthorns. Um, and I don't know how they managed to win that, but they did. <laughs>